It's Valentine's Day, of course, a day to celebrate your loved ones and show your appreciation. But it's also a time when some people are looking to take advantage. Whether you're someone looking for love or just a gift for your loved one, you might have to keep an eye out for scammers. Our Verify team tells us what scams you need to watch out for so you don't end up with a broken heart. Millions of people have found their match on these platforms, but even the savviest singles are often no match for scammers. The Better Business Bureau, FTC and FBI all report romance scams have been on the rise throughout the pandemic, with people posing as potential heartthrobs, instead stealing your cash. In 2021, people reported a record $547 million in losses to the FTC, up by about 80% from reports the agency received in 2020. We turn to these sources to learn the signs to swipe away from someone before they swipe something from you. The typical romance scam is a criminal adopting a fake online identity to gain trust and affection, then using that close relationship to manipulate their love interest into sharing money, all the while making up excuses to avoid actually meeting. Let's talk red flags. This one might hurt, but if they're too good to be true. Gorgeous photos, perfect job, amazing lifestyle make a scammer's job of luring you easier. If they're in a hurry to get off the app, unsecured chat apps, texts, emails, they leave you more vulnerable. And if they're hurrying in general for that matter, if they seem sweet, genuine, caring, talking about a future together a little more quickly than typical relationships, they could be drawing you close to take advantage of you. A lot of spelling or grammar mistakes or using phrases that just don't make sense are often signals of scammers. Before moving on to ask you for money, the scammer may hint at financial troubles, like their heat being cut off or their car being stolen. They may even share a sad story from their past. So consider these ground rules for online dating. Never send money or bank information to someone you've never met. If they even ask, cut them off. Prepaid debit cards and wire transfers are especially shady. Be careful about what you post and make public online. That might make you a more understandable target. Do a reverse image search on their profile apps. Uploading their profile pictures to tineye.com or Google Images can tell you where it actually came from. And don't think just because you made the first move, they're not trying to pull a fast one on you. Our experts say scammers flood dating websites just waiting for good targets. Okay, say you have fallen victim or think you may have, stop communication immediately. Report the person on the app where you met, contact your bank if you sent them money, and report it to the authorities. We have links to do that on our website. With your Verify, I'm Abby Larico.